Okay, so we're starting with our traditional video game experience. So this is an open source first person shooter, it's called Red Eclipse. And so we're used to, you know, our TV sitting in our living room. So right behind you, we have a projector and we have a Kinect. So nothing incredibly fancy. So we can actually take the game and we can extend it out into your physical environment. So this is kind of the naive thing you would do, which is make your TV bigger. So the one uh, tricky thing we're doing is we're actually compensating for the geometry and the color of your particular living room. So the Kinect scans the living room and then it uses that information to uh, compensate the projection. So if you look in the bottom corner, there's those black boxes. You can see that it's actually very difficult to see anything because they're black boxes if you just project onto them. Well, we know what color they are, and so we can compensate for that effect. Um, and what this gives you is a nice sense of immersion. So if I go jump off a ledge, you get this uh, you know, fully immersive experience. We can also be more artistic with what we're doing. Whoa. <laughs> so here, we're not just displaying everything out into the periphery. We can display only important things, like markers representing key elements in the game, or maybe there's someone shooting at you, like a radar experience outside. We can also do things like render peripherals outside of the television. So we can also, instead of just bleeding it over your entire environment, we can say, let's just make that back wall, which is flat, into the virtual environment. And then we can do things like bring up your physical environment, and we can play with it. So you can have a black and white room. You can have a cartoon room, if you're playing, say, maybe a game like Toy Story, or you know, uh, a different theme. So these are all basically shaders for your living room. And if we turn on one of these guys, so not only can we apply shaders to your physical environment and change what it looks like, you can distort your physical environment. So this is just a volumetric shader that's controlled by the game. So this is something that you probably want to do uh, more infrequently than when doing it. So maybe when you get hit in a game, the, the effect goes off. You can also render the periphery as edges. So this is basically just taking a more high contrast representation. Um, and this in particular works better when there's lights on in the scene, right? So you have more high contrast for projection. All right, so now we're gonna switch to a less violent demo. So we're playing a racing game, it's snowing in the game, and it's snowing in your physical environment. And this snow is actually reacting to the way I'm steering the car. So when I go left, it goes left. And when I go right, it goes right. Uh, the interesting thing is it's actually interacting with our physical environment. So we have a 3D scan of your living room. And it's, the snow is actually collecting on the, the 3D surfaces of the living room. So we're basically just taking physics and then running it in your living room. To show a more direct uh, mapping of that, this is a little simple example we created. So you have a grenade that falls out of your TV and it falls into your living room. So this is the same exact physics simulation being run in the game and then in your living room. So you know we're using the 3D geometry that the Kinect gets.